do bone scans work? So the bone scan is we inject a radioactive isotope. It's technetium-99. We inject that IV into the horse, and that kind of attaches to areas of bone inflammation. So, you know, the common thing is that you're only going to get bone images, but the nice thing with it is if there is a ligament problem, say a suspensory issue in a front leg, you won't necessarily see the suspensory ligament light up, but where that ligament attaches onto the bone, that area will light up. So we do, we get a full picture of the bone, but we also get, you know, nice images as far as bony attachments, giving us maybe a, a hint that something else might be going on in the soft tissues. So we inject that isotope, goes to the areas of bony inflammation. The horses wait in their stalls while that all kind of settles. It usually takes about two hours. And then we go ahead, bring them in here, and they go ahead and stand right in front of this camera. Um, for front leg images, the horse would just be standing right in front here. And they're usually a little bit sedated, but enough to kind of stand quietly in here. So the horse will stand right up next to it. We'll go ahead and set up the image on the computer kind of how we want it, where the horse is standing square and so everything's even. And then we'll go ahead and go from there and kind of see, you know, the horse will stand, we'll get that image, we'll go ahead and move up or over. So with the bone scan, it is a whole body scan unless there's a specific issue. So we'll have the feet, you'll have the horse's neck, the head, the pelvis, hind end, you kind of get a whole picture as far as the whole horse's skeleton on the bone scan. So once you have that, you know, you can go back and say, you know, if it was a horse with a performance complaint and you see a lot of uptake in the pelvis or maybe in a hop, you know, that's when we kind of wind up helps us find the area that we were looking for, you know, in those performance complaint horses. We knew there was a problem. We didn't know where it was. After the bone scan, we have something to go after without spending a ton of money trying to x-ray multiple limbs, multiple areas, that type of thing. So the bone scan really helps us kind of pick a certain area and go after it. So if a hawk lit up, you know, then you can take hawk x-rays. Or if a front suspensory attachment showed some activity, you know, then we can take some x-rays and probably go ahead and ultrasound that suspensory ligament and kind of see, you know, what's going on and kind of get the full picture without having to ultrasound and x-ray multiple areas. Um, in those horses where you knew it was a certain leg, weren't sure where, again, you know, now you have that area to go after. So bone scan is really helpful as far as, you know, you might not know where to look. You don't want to spend a ton of money looking all over the place. So bone scan kind of helps you narrow in on a certain area. It's also good. It's going to be pretty much our only look at the back and the pelvis and these big horses. You know, we just can't get really good x-rays of certain areas. So a horse with a sacroiliac issue, a pelvic fracture, a femur fracture, things like that, you know, sometimes you'll have it upon with a bone scan instead. So it gives us, A, helps us clue in on where, and B, helps us, you know, kind of see really good images of the axial skeleton, neck, back, pelvis. So after we have that information, that's when we tend to go on to our further diagnostics, either ultrasounding a soft tissue if it's indicated, taking radiographs of that area, or sometimes if it's just a front foot light up type of thing and we're worried, you know, then that horse might get an MRI or something like that. So that's kind of where we go from the bone scan.